All Academy. Always with you. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this online video session on basic thermodynamics. So, in the previous session, we have discussed the second module theory, that is the first law of thermodynamics, and its related numericals. And from this session, we are going to start with another module three, that is second law of thermodynamics. And in the next sessions, we are going to discuss about the entropy. And in today's session, we are going to discuss the introduction to the and basic terminologies that we need to know while studying the second law of thermodynamics. Then we are going to study what is heat engine, what is heat pump, and refrigeration. Because once you understand these concepts, so that will definitely help you in understanding the definitions of a second law and the numericals while solving. Related to the second law theorems. So, without wasting much time, let us begin with the today's session. Now, in the earlier classes, so we have already focused on the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, first law of thermodynamics we have discussed and its applications. Now, according to the first law of thermodynamics, we all know that the energies can be neither created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to Another form. It can be converted from un, one form to another form. The first law of thermodynamics establishes the equivalence between the quantity of heat and the work transfer, or the quantity of heat and work It means the heat used and the work, a mechanical work. However, it does not specify means the whatever the conversion is there, but it does not specify under what condition under what condition these conversion of heat into work is possible and the direction in which the heat transfer is going to take place. It does not means we know that there is a transfer of mechanical energy into the heat energy or heat energy into the mechanical energy based on the first law of thermodynamics. But this first law of thermodynamics does not give a clear picture how under what condition these conversions are taking place and in what direction the heat transfer is taking place. But this is the main deficiency of a first law which is overcome by the by bridging the by the second law of thermodynamics. Based on these the drawbacks, the second law is established. Now this is second law of thermodynamics which cannot be proved like the mathematicals so another unlike other all the mechanical the thermodynamic theorems so these cannot be proved mathematically because it is purely based on the experimental evidences means the whatever second law we are discussing this second law of thermodynamics it is completely on the experimental evidences so far no experiments have disproved the validity of the this second law so there is no other experiments which have disproved that this law is not correct there is no other law now in order to understand the second law of thermodynamics more preciously so more preciously in while understanding the definition of these second laws we require some of the basic details so like the heat reservoir heat source heat sink heat engine heat pumps so these are the some basic terminologies that we must able to understand before we study the actual second law of thermodynamics now what is this uh, heat source heat uh, heat sink heat reservoir heat pump so that we'll go into study now the heat engine what is that heat engine the heat engine refrigerator heat pumps all that all these works or operates works or operates between the two reservoirs two reservoirs one is at a higher temperature that is t maximum where the maximum temperature is there at one reservoir and that is called as heat source now what is a heat source it is the maximum temperature it is the point where the maximum temperature is observed means that it is the whatever heat engine heat pumps and refrigerator these all works between the two temperatures one is at higher temperature another one is at lower temperature the higher temperature uh, uh, reservoir is called as a uh, heat source whereas the lower temperature that is t minimum it is called as heat sink means whatever the heat is left out that is sent back to this heat sink now the quantity of these uh, heat defined using q1 
and Q2 means whatever the heat interaction is taking place between the refrigerator and heat source or refrigerator or heat sink or heat engine and refrigerator between these sources whatever the the quantities are the heat transfers are there they are considered as an Q1 and Q2 okay now the, the magnitude of heat transfer between the cyclic device at higher temperature and lower temperature so these are the Q1 and Q2 are the heat transfer between the maximum temperature reservoir and the minimum temperature reservoir respectively now the direction of Q2 and Q1 can be easily determined by the inspection method. By inspection method, we can easily identify uh, in what direction whether the heat, heat is flowing from reservoir to heat engine or heat, whether heat is flowing from heat sink to heat engine. So that we can easily uh, uh, identify by using a inspection method. Now the next very important is the heat engine. Now what is this heat engine? Heat engine is a thermodynamic system operating in a cycle. Please note that it is a thermodynamic system which is operating in a cycle to produce some quantity of work by absorbing the some amount of heat from the source and rejects the left out amount of heat to the sea. So for this one you can easily uh, watch the you can easily see this here. In this uh, animation I have given this is a heat source as I said which is having a maximum temperature another one is a heat sink which is considered as a low temperature reservoir low temperature reservoir uh, that is a heat sink that is why I have mentioned T minimum T maximum means and this is a heat engine heat engine is a device thermodynamic device which is operating by taking some quantity of heat from the heat reservoir means I have taken some quantity of heat I have mentioned it as an Q1 means the heat source to heat engine that heat transfer it is an a heat one and it performs some work at the whatever energy heat is taken that is taken and it gives some quantity of work that is W after performing after generating or after producing some quantity of work or after doing some quantity of work there will be some left out heat that is sent to the the uh, sink or the the low temperature reservoir and that is given as q2 here you can get this is a simple uh, explanation about the heat engine what is a heat engine it is a thermodynamic system which is operating in a cycle which absorbs the heat from the heat source and performs some work and after left out whatever the heat is there that is supplied to the heat sink and a heat transfer from heat source it is considered as an a dub, q1 and the heat transfer from after doing some performation the whatever heat transfer to the heat sink it is considered as an Q2 and work done or work transfer it is considered as an W now the efficiency of a heat engine now we have know that so the work done the work done by this heat engine is given by W is equals to the amount of heat added minus heat rejected that is Q1 minus Q2 is considered as an amount of work done during this uh, engine by the engine now what is the efficiency efficiency formula we know that the amount of work done divided by amount of heat supplied that is a simple definition of an efficiency in the heat engines now what is the amount of work done that is w by q1 that is a q1 is a heat supplied now our w1 we have already know that that is q1 minus q2 divided by q1 again further if you simplify it you will get it as an efficiency is equals to 1 minus q2 divided by q1 that is 1 minus amount of heat rejected divided by amount of heat supplied now this is a efficiency of an engine so please this these are plays very important role while solving the numericals so please be careful and be attentive uh, during this uh, explanations now let us move to the heat pump so we have studied heat engine now what is the heat pump that we have to study now heat pump is a thermodynamic system it is a thermodynamic system operating in a cycle operating in a cycle which takes please note that which takes the heat from lower temperature reservoir and rejects or and it's applied to the higher temperature means whatever the lower temperature heat is there that is carried out and it is supplied to higher temperature reservoir and during this process because it is a reverse process now in the previous case heat is in heat engines heat is absorbed it performs some work 
and it uh, left out whatever the left out heat is there unused heat that is sent back to heat sink but whereas in this heat pump it is a device that absorbs the heat from lower temperature reservoir and it supplies to the higher temperature reservoir means here the negative process is there so the work is done on the system okay so in this one here you can see this one means the whatever heat is there that has to be supplied to the higher temperature reservoir now by performing some work so i have to use a pump pump what takes it takes general pump water the the water lifting pump how it works so there is a water at the lower uh, datum head so it has to be pumped to higher head means so some work is done same process it is a similar to that one means i want to supply lower temperature heat to higher temperature body so then i have to perform some uh, work on the system so then the that quantity of heat he is supplied from the heat pump to higher temperature reservoir now under this condition the work is done same because it is a amount of heat uh, supplied minus amount of heat rejected that is q1 minus q2 now in heat pumps we cannot say it as an efficiency because it is a the there is a some effect has to be done so this in a heat pumps we the performance is analyzed the efficiency is given in the form of coefficient of performance which is generally known as cop now what is this cop it is a desired effect divided by the required input means what effect we want by supplying a what is a input we have provided that is a simple definitions whatever input i have given based on that i have to give some output so that is a coefficient performance that is cop definition now in this one cop is nothing but desired effect it is q1 divided by w that is a uh, heat supplied from heat pump to heat source divided by that is a w work done that is q1 divided by q1 minus q2 okay this is a simple definition of heat pump it is just the reverse of an a heat engine in heat engine what happens the heat is taken perform some work left out heat is supplied to heat sink in heat pump heat lower temperature heat is absorbed that is absorption taken by pump then pump supplies that low temperature to your higher temperature reservoir that is a heat pump the next one we'll move to the next one that is refrigerator now it is also a thermodynamic system which is operating in a cycle which takes the heat from lower temperature reservoir and rejects to the higher temperature reservoir it is same similar as the uh, heat pump it is working is similar as an a heat pump to maintain the body at a temperature lower than the temperature of surrounding okay so how it takes place it is a means heat is taken out so here the heat is absorbed from the this lower temperature is taken out and refrigerate what happens so it performs some work it performs some work then that is supplied to heat means there is heat and means the work has to be done on the system because i have to lift this heat i have to take out the lower temperature reservoir and i have to supply it because we know that heat always travel from higher temperature body to lower temperature body that is a very basic concept of a heat transfer means heat always transfer from higher temperature body to lower temperature body but in this case in heat pump as well as in a heat or uh, in a refrigerator what we are doing we are going against the natural principle that is we are taking off the lower temperature heat to supplying it to higher temperature means i have to do extra work that work is done by this refrigerator as well as pump now in this one the work is again similar in all the three cases heat engine heat pump and the refrigerator work done will be q1 minus q2 now the here also the coefficient of performance is given that is desired effect divided by required input so please note that in some many students make a mistake that uh, if the some if the examiner ask you the question what is the efficiency of heat pump or refrigerator so there is no efficiency please note that for heat pump and refrigerator we need to say in the form of performance that is a coefficient of performance the efficiency will be only defined for heat engines so many students make that the efficiency of uh, uh, refrigerator they will say something so it is not right 
so the performance analysis is done by the cop so only efficiency is defined in heat engines now now cop is equals to q2 divided by q1 so please note that here there is a small change in the the the, the desired effect in the refrigerator that is in a heat pump it is a q1 divided by q1 minus q2 whereas in a refrigerator it is a q2 divided by q1 minus q2 this is a small change that we need to take it out so hope dear students so whatever the concepts uh, that the in introduction part and the some of the definition of heat engine refrigeration heat pump that we have discussed in today's session it is very clear to you people still if you are finding any difficulties please try to comment in a comment box and we'll try to clarify your doubts and you can also download the the notes from our website that is allacademy.blogspot.com uh, and you can also follow us on a linkedin as well as a facebook so that even some of the important questions and uh, the module wise questions that will be uploaded in these sections also where you can download it very easily so till that uh, if you are want to know uh, if you are not able to understand the concept please go to the video again again if you are unable to understand the anything you can comment it in the comment box till that you watch the video and share the link to your friends click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy